Good morning. I'm here in the Hippie Shack um, patio area. Really, it's my tea room. I just put a pot of water on for my rooibos tea. As you can see on the little camping stove that they have out here for me. It's connected to a propane tank. And um, there's a little light up here, as you can see, <clears throat> that I can turn on at night if I need it or whenever I need it. And because there's electricity. But the power is scheduled to go off every about two hours every day. They have a rolling blackout like they have had a lot in California. And so electricity, a lot of electricity gets lost when it's going through the power lines such a great distance. The electricity from here comes, I believe, from a nuclear power plant over near Cape Town, which is a couple hours drive away. And so Cape Town is also experiencing the same rolling blackouts because there's just not enough electricity for everyone to use all day long. Ethanol can change all of this. Propane could be a thing of the future. I mean, of the past. <laughs> Ethanol is, is the future. And... Um, there was a, a distinct smell of the of the propane. I, I, I said kerosene, but it's propane, I guess. There was a distinct smell. Uh, petroleum has so many pollutants in it. And ethanol burns clean. Uh, ethyl, ethanol is ethyl alcohol. So it's just pure alcohol. And they have uh, fuel cell generators nowadays that can produce electricity directly. Or you can use it for lamp light. You don't need the electrical light at all. You can just light the alcohol and, uh, and like a kerosene lamp with a little bulb little filament to to get your light at, in the evening so ethanol has many many uses um, David Bloom is making hand sanitizers out of organic ethanol right now in California Watsonville California where I was a month ago and um, instead of using isopropyl alcohol for your rubbing alcohol, you could use ethanol, ethyl alcohol, which is from plants. The isopropyl alcohol is actually from petroleum, as is Vaseline and some of those other things. So there you have it. Talk to you tomorrow.